the backlash has to do with concerns over racism, as the NYT puts it, digital blackface, oh. and was explicitly marketed as an intersection of music, technology, and gaming culture by its creators appears to be black coded despite not actually being, you know, real. <laughs> Bruce Lawn. For the first time ever, a robot rapper has recorded a deal. FN Mecca just signed with Capitol Records. His debut single, Florida Water, was released last week. The robot rapper has over 10 million followers on TikTok, and it's the platform's top virtual being. FN Mecca, voiced by a human, but everything else about his music is based in AI. I wanted to highlight this story because I thought it was hilarious. So have you guys heard of this AI rapper? It's Capitol Records. By the way, I used to know the president of Capitol Records before he got fired. Shout out to Jeff Vaughn. And he was trying to do some positive stuff there. Apparently, uh, they weren't going for it because they signed this AI rapper. OK, it caused massive backlash because he was basically a caricature of black people. The, there was a voice that did the rapping. The voice of FM Mecca is another black man. He goes by the name of Kyle the Hooligan. He's actually a rapper himself, and Kyle was approached by the creators of this AI. They proposed this business idea to him where he would be the voice of FM Mecca a few years back. He accepted the business offer, went in, did the vocals, and according to Kyle, they ended up ghosting him. So Kyle was supposed to get compensated for the work he did, but that unfortunately didn't happen. He got the green <laughs> hair and the big chain, and they had AI make the music and AI do the beats. The backlash they got from folks in the black community was, guys, this is, this is a complete caricature of black culture. And he's using the N-word in the raps. You're pre-programming the, the AI rapper to use the N-word in the raps. That's and, foul. <laughs> and so massive backlash. And Capitol Records ended up dropping him and parting ways with the the company that created the AI. So it was just a company and they got the record deal. And the it was AI a company made that they went the through. music. Yes. yes. Yes, the AI made the music. It was a rapper who would rap the lyrics like a voice. Vocal. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't like a N I. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Yeah. But the image, the uh wow. the aesthetic, the it was a virtual rapper. Better way to describe it. They end up dropping him. And, and are going to, I guess, donate some of the budget to work with like inner city youth organizations to help folks in the inner city and after school programs, that kind of thing. But this is what just reminds me of what I always say, which is wisdom will be proven right by our children. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> like you guys are jumping out the window. These labels are jumping. Because let's be honest, if I'm a record label owner and I don't have to deal with a human, Oof. I could just pre-program everything. Like we need a song about this. I'm like, all right. Right. Like I need, I need all bangers. I need all things that'll go on rap caviar. It's just the analyze button. Right. You don't have any artistic ability. No artist. No one wants to write a song about their, their mom and, and their traumatic childhood. It's all. It's, it's all complete this <laughs> without any of the drugs, without any of the other stuff that comes along with it. And I don't have to deal with personalities. I don't have to deal with people. I don't have to deal with emotions. I don't have to deal with anything. I could just deal with the company that pre-programs this. And then I could make, I could print money basically because it's going to analyze the top songs on Rap Caviar and recreate exactly what that is, right? It's kind, it's kind of genius. Which isn't inher inherently wrong, except for the pre-programmed N-words. For the N-words! Yes, and, and, and yes. the image. Capital dropped it. They were like, no, we're not doing it. I was like, holy, mo is this... I was sitting there tripping, like, is this where music is going? Yeah, that's nuts. It's, it's a wrap if this is where music is going. This is, <laughs> and then it was like two days. So much two, for two, artist three. development. Yeah, yeah. Our, well, artist development been dead, but it was like two, three days. <laughs> yeah, we made a mistake. We put out an apology letter. We offer our deepest apologies to the black community for our insensitivity in signing the project without asking enough questions about equity and the creative process behind it. Basically meaning that I'm pretty sure no black people were involved in, in this <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> we thank those who have reached out to us with constructive feedback in the past couple of days. Your input was invaluable as we came to the uh, decision to end our association with the project. Somebody, oh, check this out. The backlash has to do with concerns over racism, as the NYT puts it, New York Times puts it, digital blackface. Oh. 
The rapper who has 10.3 uh, million followers on TikTok and was explicitly marketed as an intersection of music, technology, and gaming culture by its creators appears to be black coded despite not actually being, you, you know, know, real. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how do you say his name fn fn mika mika yeah fn mecca fn mecca lyrical content chords melody tempo sounds were partially derived by artificial intelligence at the same time allegedly only one white man is involved with fn mecca's act okay so it's only one white man it, wow but the fact that this happened and that there's this entire debacle and then they pulled back from it is crazy 